Don't do it. What do you mean? The Knicks are good now. Good in comparison to what they've been, yes. Is Frankie Nicotine an all-star yet? I think it's no. funny. I started it, but I think it's funny. Okay. Uh, I listen to the Michael K show all the time just uh, because I want to, like, I don't know, listen to New York Yankee talk. And he talks about the Knicks, and, like, some of the conversations that go on about the Knicks are so funny to me. It's like, what? who should the Knicks trade for? These guys have been terrible for 30 fucking years almost. <laughs> what do you mean, who should they trade for? Who cares? Like, should they go for the playoffs? No. No, they should not ever go for the playoffs. Just be happy with what you got for fucking one minute, New York. Just be oh, happy the that they're not horrible. <laughs> they play in the Mecca, though. Be happy the that mecca. they're not horrible for one minute. Just I am. I am. I am. Like I'm just they're surprised. like, who should I know we trade? It's not gonna last. <laughs> who should we trade for as the Knicks? Like, don't just don't. Unless it's a fucking draft pick, don't. Do not do it. Dude, this is all gonna go it's, badly because the, the, the yeah. Tom Thibodeau is not gonna coach a bunch of young awesome guys, right? He's just gonna alienate yeah. people, right? He's a solid coach who's gonna do this but never actually be the coach when they're good, yeah. right? No, because then they'll be mad at him because he won't change right, anything. Right. And then yeah, eventually this him. this is going to end poorly eventually for, for Tommy. Anyway, yeah. doom. Yeah. I guess I'll cut that part out. Doom. Well, we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Doom. Talking about doom. Talk, talking about doom from 2005. You know there's a 2019 doom? I did see that. On Netflix. When was the video game? Oh, all through oh, the 90s. Long yeah. ago. Yeah. Doom is the original 93. first three. It's the original first person shooter or one of the first. Yeah, I we'll talk so, about yeah. that when they get there. Oh, yeah. I love that part. That was so yeah. cool. Don't. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna I didn't fight say about it wasn't good. I said, uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Doom. Uh, the main character is Carl Urban. His name is John. Grimm. The main Boy. character is The Rock. Luther. Come on. No, it's not. <laughs> the Rock is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tenth person on the IMDb page. The tenth person is the, the main rock. character is Portman the Creep. Can't count. Can't count. <laughs> Portman the Creep. <laughs> They've got Hell Knight above the rock, and I don't know what the hell Hell Knight is. Hell Knight what is, is a Hell Knight? <laughs> I don't. I watch know. this movie. And I don't know what a Hell Knight is. I did I the tip it literally today. <laughs> I did the bill. I did the bill move where you watch it Tuesday. Yeah. You tell us what movie it is, and then I, I'm so upset. I watch it Tuesday <laughs> to get, get it out, out of the way. way. Don't ruin the whole, whole week with this. <laughs> I can't over watch. my head. I cannot <laughs> let this stand. I need to get this out of you my way. Stink out of here now. Yeah. That's what I did. So let's start. Uh, in, in about five years, they're going to discover a secret portal to Mars hidden in the Nevada desert um, called the Ark. Right. This is five years from now. It's going to happen because this is a this is looking into the future. The future. I, I, yeah. I think this it's is a very accurate. near future. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find a portal. Yep. So 2026, they discover a portal to Mars. 2046... So 20 years later, they're still trying to figure out why it was built and who built it. Great. Awesome. We don't really get an explanation for that. Of course not. You don't need that. Do. It's like the, the humans like or the other race, right? Not the other race. Oh, but the... they, found, oh, yeah, they, they, they found the remains they of the other race. They didn't actually build the portal, did they? I guess I, they no, I, I, that was her working. Yeah, you're right. That was uh, her parents Samantha. went to investigate, right? Yeah, that was Samantha Grimm's working theory. Jesus they Christ. were trying to get away. From, I thought I thought it was them it trying to get matter. away. From... <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The good like, ones wanted to get away from the bad ones. I, I like thought. how the Grimm, the Grimm's parents the died in like a very un, like not important to the story. They just died yeah, in like a rock just, slide. Yeah, <laughs> they they yeah. died for nothing, like no reason at all. They yep. just died in rock slide. Yep. Not like because the aliens did anything. Nope. So um, there's a space station on Mars now where the Ark spits you out. <clears throat> uh, people are running away from something and we, we can't see what it is, but they're getting picked off one by one. Oh, we, yeah. 
the Dr. Res- Carmack. The researchers are all getting killed. Yeah, the researchers and scientists. Uh, we meet Dr. Carmack, who shuts uh, um, his lab door and he leaves a lady behind, and it her arm gets chopped off by the door. Yeah, yeah some he gore. sacrifices her real quick. In some oh, gore yeah. here. Yep. Uh, he sends a message to someone to implement quarantine procedures just as the doors burst it open and we see some kind of monster. God damn it. So, if, I, if I never have to hear the word quarantine ever again, <laughs> I'll be happy. Yeah, not a good movie. To- <laughs> Thanks, Wally. Uh, Thanks for reminding us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's the opening <laughs> scene. Then we go to a marine base in California. Where we meet Sarge, who is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, baby. Semper yes. five, brother. Literally tattooed on his back so he can read it only in a mirror if he turns back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, so <laughs> uh, he's getting his mission orders to search and destroy the base using extreme messes- measures if necessary. And we never find out who's calling him to tell him this shit. No, no. Nope. Well, no, no. We don't need that. Uh, his troops are messing around in their quarters, getting ready to go on va- vacation. When Sarge comes in and tells them that vacation is canceled. Uh, he vacation tells is them fucking that- canceled. Yep. Leave is canceled. We're going up. Uh, he tells them to fall in, so they all get ready. But he stops who he calls Reaper, who is John Grimm. I'm going to call him Reaper from now on because yeah. you'll see in about 10 minutes. Yep. In the movie, I mean, but two minutes from now. Uh, <laughs> he stops Reaper and he tells him that he should take the vacation anyways because they're going to Olduvai, which is the, the Mars stas- station. Hmm. They mount up in the into a chopper, but Reaper gets on at, at the last second. I do like that they introduced everybody by picking up their weapons and the weapon would tell them what their name was. Give their name. Even yep. though the one doesn't even know his own name. Seems like a problematic <laughs> thing if you have to switch weapons ever. Yeah. So we've got Mac, Portman, Duke, Goat, Destroyer, Reaper, Sarge, and the Kid. Oh my Which god. Can like Reaper only shoot the Reaper gun? Like, are they only trained yeah. for one very specific weapon? That's what I'm saying. Like, if Reaper drops his the, gun and he picks up the, the kids, they are not yeah. the same weapons. They're the one guy has, like, a oh, giant well, gun. Yeah, okay. It's like a um, machine gun. Chain. Yeah. yeah, he's got a chain gun. He's got, like, a two-person gun just freewheeling it himself. Yep. Um, so... And the, the kid gets, like, the little tiny, the little noisy cricket. Uh, Reaper tells Sarge that it's been 10 years and Sarge asks if she's still up there that's all we get and then Mm -hmm. they go to the Ark there are 85 employees on Olduvai Um, and they get ready to transport using the Ark Reaper goes first and a floating water blob sucks him up and teleports him to Mars yeah. Accurate? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you blob. see it like a blob going through space or something, but yes, that's yep. essentially what it is. And then they all come out on the other side for that joke where they all throw up. Yep. Hilarious. Ha ha ha. So then we meet a scientist named Pinky who is missing the lower half of his body because Which, they have a. This dude, Pinky, is a fucking director. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. Um, Dexter Fletcher. Yeah. He directed uh, Rocket Man, the Elton John movie. <laughs> oh, okay. And some other stuff. Um, which is, I was like, I recognize him because he was in Band of Brothers. He was one of the dudes. Eddie the Eagle. Brothers. I heard good thing about that. And he, yeah, he directed some good movies. Like He's a director. Legit. And he's not bad in this role, actually. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we meet Pinky, who's missing the lower half of his body because of a mishap with the arc transportation in the early days. 
the transport room is going to be their stronghold and their position to fall back to. Nothing gets into the transport room to make sure that quarantine is maintained. Here you go, Wally. You're going to love this. Dexter Fletcher is directing Sherlock Holmes 3. Nice. (laughs) With Robert Downey Jr., one of your favorites. Watch that. We'll get to watch that. He's directing that. Yeah. If uh, Kurgan's um, in it, yes, we can watch it. I mean, John Wick rules. Oh, John Wick rules. <laughs> the Kurgan rules. The Kurgan rules. The Kurgan accords. <laughs> uh, so then we get Portman being a super creep to some women he sees on uh, uh, at the space station. And he's like a all about anyone kind of creep, right? He doesn't yeah. he at one point say some insensitive <laughs> things sure about does. some other uh, folks, and so he's an equal opportunity creep space. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Um, and then he tries to creep on a scientist who ends up being Samantha Grimm. Of course, they we we obviously know immediately that she and she and Reaper know each other. Um, right. So then this is a code red mission and everyone is in quarantine. Reaper and Grimm argue like they're a divorce couple, but they're actually si- siblings, which they yeah, argue like they're siblings as well. So that's fair. Mm-hmm. I like that uh, they weren't like past lovers or whatever. That yeah. Because the one guy like says like, how did you let that go or whatever? And he's like, she's my sister. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Um, so their mission is to retrieve scientific data and Reaper is not very happy about that. Grim, his sister, has come to help, come along with them. That she's going to go into where all, all the lab, all the bad stuff has been happening. Um, she's going to go with them, and he doesn't. He doesn't like that either. So they reach the quarantine door, and everyone gets their assignments. They're immediately going to split up, which seems like a horrible idea. You never split the party. No. <sighs> Come on, guys. Haven't you ever watched any horror movies in the last 46 re- years? Whatever <laughs> you, Was it 2046? Come on. Yep. Um, so they're immediately going to split up once they get inside. And then we get some Asian racism from Pinky, who yep. decides not to even try to <sighs> pronounce uh, Mac's real name. Okay. Uh, yeah, at first, he makes fun of him for being called Mac. And then, yeah. like, punts on trying the real name. Yep. Yep. And we see Portman and Goat enter the genetics lab, and they see some organ specimens, and then they find some living animals who just bark and squawk and screech at them. And uh, nobody was like, what the fuck is going on here yet? Nope. Nope. Uh, the kid and Destroyer find a bloody lab coat. While Reaper and Grimm make it to their destination, and it will take her 30 minutes to download the information. Uh, Portman and Goat find a holding cell. Duke and Sarge find an armory, and Sarge sees the BFG, as they call it, the Bioforce gun, but it's actually the big uh, fucking gun. It's the yeah. big fucking gun. You know there's a kid's movie with the same name? BFG? Big, big friendly giant, yeah. I don't think it's friendly. <laughs> Big fucking giant. <laughs> 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 so Sarge gives a little bit more backstory about Grim and Reaper. And it was so important that I did not write it down. Grim tells Reaper that they found humanoid remains. So they reopened the dig and he's not happy about this. They argue about stuff and she shows him that the humanoid was a superhuman because she had 24 chromosomes so she did she was super strong super smart she could um instantly heal basically how the fuck did she die right i don't know but she protecting her kid protecting her child exactly also the only time that that kind of skeleton would be preserved like that is ice age or mag like magma lava. So you think she got like magma volcano? Cause then was because like if you just die protecting your kid and they rip apart like 
you're just gonna be like your bones right. are gonna be everywhere. Like, does Mars know. have volcanoes on it? Yeah, you sure. Should. Sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, we go to Goat and Portman, who find the ripped open door to Carmack's lab. Uh, the lab is destroyed, and they're making their way into it, and something escapes. They give chase and find Carmack, who's clutching the assistant's arm, and he's got bloody, tattered clothes on. Um, all of them meet up with Goat and Portman, and uh, Grim starts to get closer to him when Carmack just rips off, off his own ear, his left ear. So, yeah. yeah, gross and weird. So he's weird. Yeah. They bring him back to medical and then split up again. Uh, Portman's being a douche and trying to freak out the kid, and they call him the kid because it's his first mission. Yeah, I feel like that's not that important, but you know, a little bit. I like how this is like a ripoff of every action movie where everybody in the group has a thing. Like yep. the one dude is religious and the other dude is on drugs and the other guy has a th- like everybody's yep. got yep. An has issue. a big fucking gun. You got the, the commanding officer, you got the main character. Right. Everybody's got, got a fucking issue, like every weird character in the Yeah. This is you the guy the... that's on drugs. Okay. Yeah. And and then you got just the, the the black guy who wants to make it with the sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, right. That's that guy. That's everybody. Yeah, when he's guy. like, hey, um, Leave and me alone. Like my the, sister's uh, like, oh, perfect. So she's the, available. The Sarge's uh, like lieutenant there or whatever, who's like, just listen to whatever Sarge says, and that's his problem. Like, yeah, he just follows orders, and that's gonna get oh, killed. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Um, so Portman's being a douche, trying to freak the kid out, and then he gives the kid some drugs. Uh, Goat and Reaper are by themselves and Goat accidentally knocks something down the stairs making a lot of noise and he says god damn it and then he rolls down his sleeve and he cuts himself in penance for saying god damn it All right. I yeah, the guy who cuts himself meant nothing. Too. didn't need to be there except to show that he's a religious person I guess super, reli- super religious Yep. <laughs> didn't need it uh, Duke and Grimm get to the medical facility and um, the so- at some point, they picked up another scientist. I don't know who she was, but she's there for. About oh yeah, three she just shows up. That one chick. Yeah. 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 It's like, she oh, she's here. She's a lot. She's been alive for weeks down here by herself. Yeah. Uh, so Duke doesn't want to go through the nano wall, which I can't explain what the fucking nano wall. It's is. A, like a blurry wall that if you get stuck in, it'll cut your body off. When you can it like it's turned off. You can make it a wall or a doorway. Like you can like change yeah. the property of it, so that either you can get through it or you cannot. That's that's a good explanation. Which also, why do you need this unless you're doing some fucked up experiments where people are gonna go insane? But it's yep. regular enough that he knows exactly what it is. True. So Carmack is rambling, uh, and he tells her to shut it down, and it, it's inside. Nobody knows what he's talking about. Uh, we see Reaper and Goat re-enter genetics, where all the animals are now missing, and there's blood everywhere. They find a guy who bites off a rat's head and then attacks them. So Reaper kills him and reports it in. Uh, Destroyer and Sarge find a ceiling air vent and decide to stick his fucking head into an air vent. The fuck? Yeah. Not like look around with the mirror and nothing. Nope. I'll just get stick in there. My head up. Stick my head up. Yep. yep. Not the best uh, one. A monkey scares him and they start shooting. Um, monkey obviously dies in the air vent and they... The blood that drips down onto them, it looks strange. There's something in it. And then we go back to Grimm in the in medical, and she sees that Carmack's blood has the same strange things in it. Mm. Um, right. Reaper and Goat make contact with the monster and chase it into the sewer entrance. Uh, Grimm runs tests on Carmack's blood, and there's no match in the system, so she can't tell that it's Carmack. 
She goes to check him, and he's missing now. He's gone. He's disappeared. Uh, Destroyer, Sarge, Goat, Portman, and the kid enter the sewer. They leave Destroyer to cover the exit. Sarge eventually finds a lab coat of a Dr. Steve Willits. Goat starts reciting some religious stuff, and immediately Portman gets pulled underwater. Uh, they get him back up, and he, apparently he just fell in a hole. He stepped in a hole. Yeah. Again, <sighs> they split up in the sewers at a, uh, a juncture, and the kid tries to connect with Reaper, and Reaper tells him to shut up because he keeps giving away their position. And then he yeah. notices that the kid is high because his pupils aren't... Oh, excited. shit. Uh, so it's just cocaine, something. right? Like they present it like it's a like futuristic thing. He just yeah. ate a crack rock, right? Cocaine I, is a hell of a yeah. drug. I just watched that episode. I just watched that episode. <laughs> What's Still that very from? good. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yes. Uh, okay. It's when uh, Rick James is trying to recount the uh, what happened at his apartment, and he's <laughs> he's trying to say stuff, and I think they were like, "That's not what you said before," and he's like. You're getting some drug. You're getting some <laughs> drug, guys. Because <laughs> right, so, he like uh, says right in a row, I would never dig my feet in this couch. Of course, I remember digging my feet in this couch like, <laughs> like that quick. Uh, so he realizes the kid is high, and then at that second, he sees something behind the kid, and he tells Goat that something's coming his way. Of course, Goat's flashlight gives out exactly at this time. Uh, and he asks Pinky if he can see anything on his in, on his infrared camera, which he can't. Uh, he turns and sees some some eyes in the dark, and he calls out for somebody. Uh, and then a monster attacks him, bites him in the neck. Hmm. We see something almost worm its way under his skin, but then falls away when Reaper comes. Yeah, it's like he like tries to lick him, and then his tongue like takes on a mind of its own. Yeah, like tries to burrow. So gross. Um, Reaper kills the monster and they rush Goat to medical. Uh, Sarge calls for immediate ev evacuation. Goat is flatlining and while the team works to bring him back, Sarge realizes that Carmack is missing. We see them try to use a defibrillator and give him adrenaline shots, but Goat does not come back. He, he dies. He's dead. He did. He did. Sarge yells at Grim now and shows her the dead monster that they found or that they killed, asking her if they found anything like that on their digs. And she's adamant that no, they, that's not that kind of thing going on up here. Reaper tells them that the monster isn't like what they shot in genetics. Uh, Destroyer, Portman, and the kid get assigned to the closest door to the surface to make sure that nothing's coming in. I don't remember. And then they have Mac lock down the arc door. He gives Pinky a gun, and then he, he, he enters the lab as well. <clears throat> the team argues in the main lobby about calling in for reinforcements. Uh, Portman wants them, but Sarge says, no, we are the reinforcements. whoop de doo Which is weird, because Sarge is portrayed as a good guy. Yes. Right now. And it's like, why wouldn't you call in reinforcements? That makes no sense. Yeah. Grim is dissecting the monster's body when the lights start flashing on and off. Uh, she goes through the nano wall looking for Duke because apparently he went to get something for her. I don't know. Uh, he scares her and they see a dog as the lights go out. The dog's snarling and barking at them and then it just runs away. As we look back at Duke, we see a monster attack him from behind. Um, he starts shooting, and he nearly gets back to medical, and the monster gets trapped in the nano wall before it shoots its tongue into the room. Like, the tongue leaves its body, like, starts burrowing like the worm. Mm -hmm. um, Disgusting. So, Sarge and Mac are now searching the armory. Reaper is searching the archaeological dig. 
He hears memories from his childhood uh, playing with his sister and his parents. And then we hear his parents die, die. in a rock slide. Yeah. Not because of an alien attack. No, nope. nothing to do with fucking aliens. Okay, go nope. ahead. Um, Sarge finds him and then he asks if this is where they died and Reaper's like, I'm not fucking talking about that. <laughs> so Sarge walks on and he finds two dead bodies, two scientists. He says something stopped them from getting out into the dig site and it wasn't them stopping something from getting in. Uh, all of a like... sudden, Mac, Mac gets his head knocked off. I Oh I yeah. I looked away for two seconds and then Mac is dead. The animal the alien thing rips off his head. Yeah. Uh Sarge and Reaper find something big in the dig and give chase. They make it back to the lab and start sweeping it. Uh Sarge goes to the armory to get the BFG, the big fucking gun. Which uh, why Grim fuck, is- why'd you not take that right away? Yeah. Well, he he needed to get something. Right? Did somebody oh, like catch need- him like hanging out in the room or something? It was. He was like was, he was like oogling it, and then they moved on. But then he's like, he was, oh, I gotta go back. I I, it, it, I think it was he was he saw it on a computer screen. He didn't see the actual gun. Oh, I thought he it saw was, it. Like he opened the door and knew where it was. Well, he whatever. must have known where. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. There's some weird uh, shit going on with Rock in this movie. The Rock's character. Yeah. That we never find out what, like, who sent him on this mission? Why are they not calling in reinforcements? Why does he know that what's going on? Why does yeah. he know where the gun is? Like, he knows all this stuff, and why is he protecting this stuff for no reason? Yeah. Like, and why does he Other want those uh, memory chips? Or, yeah. yeah, there's it, something. It orders. A bunch of know. shit going on with his orders that they never explain. Um, so Grimm is doing an aut- autopsy on the mo- monster body that they had killed. And in the background, we can see Goat sitting back up. Even though he's dead, dead. Okay, yeah. Dead, dead. What the hell was this? He was turning into a monster. Like, Yeah. He's but he's dead. A- he died. He yeah. flatlined. He's dead. Now he's turning because he's dead. He's a zombie. He's turned into a monster. But... He knows that he's turning into a zombie and kills himself yeah, on the yes. window. Yes, that's correct. He does a sign of the cross. Yes. So he's still in there somewhere. Yes. Like, and he can feel it taking over. But he's dead. He died. So maybe it's just that they don't what have the f- a pulse anymore. Like they, they don't need a pulse. Pul- are we going like super deep? Like the soul survives for like, <laughs> is that what this movie's saying? I was shocked by this. Like he died. Yes. He's now turning into a zombie after death, post mortem. He shouldn't yeah. know that he's a religious guy because I trying think to stop himself. Like, why is that happening? The way it seemed to me that one doctor who became like a zombie and he right. like ripped off his ear because he seems to know it's taking over. Okay. Yeah. But he wasn't like, dead. Did he die? Yeah, I feel like he didn't die. He just got taken no, he, over. He didn't die because yeah, they put die. him on that other table and then he ran away. Yes. They never died. So they never... It's all these people look like they're dead or they actually are dead and then turn. I don't understand this. It... And also like later when they explain stuff yeah. about like yeah. why we'll things happen and like why is this guy We'll get to that later. Yeah, why does this guy count? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Um. So he's goat is now Monster Goat is now watching them dissect the other monster. And Grim realizes that this thing that she's dissecting was once a human because it had its appendix removed. It's Uh, a scientist. Yeah. Goat tries to attack them. I thought he was just trying to attack them. But he just smashes his head against the the glass a bunch of times and then he falls down dead. Because he's sentient. He smashes his own head against the glass so he dies. Yeah. Uh, Grimm says that the thing didn't butcher Dr. Willits because it is Dr. Willits. So she's realized right. that the monster is Dr. Willits. Portman and Destroyer are, I don't know, guarding something. And Portman says he has to go use the bathroom, so he leaves Destroyer alone. Never good. Bad nope. move. 
Just pee Sarge pants. Pick, pee Sarge, your pants. Picks, Sarge picks up one of the scientist's severed hands to get the big fucking gun, and now he's got it. And he actually says, that's a big fucking gun. He sure does. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a joke from the video game, but I, I don't know if that's it true. It is. It's like... They the orig- I think the original name for it was the BFG, as in like oh it's the big fucking gun. But then when at like pressed to to name the gun, they're like oh well we can't just call it the big fucking gun, so we right. have to call it the bio force gun. But everybody right. like mm. who played the game is like oh it's the big fucking gun. Yeah. So I think that's why. I'm sure all there's men. all kinds of. Um, I guess we should have talked about this. I never played Doom. I never played. I played it once or twice. I think with Doctor with Doctor Tim, maybe. I remember him playing it like regularly. I remember him having it and playing it, but I don't remember being a Doom guy. I never played it. I'm not a first person shooter guy. That's not my thing. Really? No, I don't like it. It Makes you know what I have the uh, I. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but I have that inner ear thing. So when I play first person shooters, they make me literally ill. Yeah. Yeah. So Uh, I don't play them. They make me sick. Like so every time we the, played, every time we played James Bond as a kid and anything else made me sick, literally made me ill. That's, that's, that's very sad because it's Golden a fun Eye game. It's the best game. Yeah. Anytime I played it, it made me sick because I would get like, I don't know what it is about first person shooters. I have that thing. It like makes me woozy when I play it. That sucks. So... Sarge has the, the big fucking gun now. Portman is in the bathroom and he's searching the stalls to make sure that, you know, no, but nothing's in there, which is smart. Then he goes in and he puts his gun down and he turns off his radio. Uh, Destroyer goes and finds the holding cell for some reason. And then yeah. he gets attacked. A monster picks him up and he throw, and throws him into the, the holding cell. Of course. Port- Portman is making a voice recording about what's going on, and he sends a transmission to. Don't know. Yeah, he's broadcasting Re- to. He sends it to reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he wants reinforcements. Uh, Destroyer starts fighting the monster in the holding cell. He pins it to the electrified wall so he can start climbing out, but the monster gets free and pulls down the chain that that he was climbing, and it looks like Destroyer is now dead. Yeah, but not like eaten, just dead, just murdered. Yeah. Right, he just gets killed. Yep. No tongue snake goes into him. Nope. Then we it's see... hot when you say it like that. <laughs> A tongue snake? Goes into him? Ooh, baby. We see Portman get killed in the bathroom. Uh, and he, as he's getting killed, he accidentally turns his radio back on, so everybody hears him. Of course, got to know uh, what's happening. Sarge, Reaper, and the kid make it to the bathroom, and we see Sarge fire the big BFG, which looked pretty cool. Um, yeah. They get Portman and Destroyer back to... How did they get Destroyer out of the holding cell? They go down and find him with his face all fucked up, right? Yeah, I think that the monster's like not there by the time they get there, so they just go do it. I they, go, it's like, they just go get him. He's all dead. He's um, all dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they get the two of them back to medical and everybody everybody's now in medical and they're all filling each other in on what's been happening. Grim then shows them that the monster stuck in the wall, which seems to still be moving. Um, oh, despite the fact that he's stuck in the nano wall. Yeah. Because the nano wall didn't like smoosh him, just no, it trapped just, him. Which makes yeah. no sense based on what they said, but okay. Um, so she shows him that the left ear is missing, so it's obviously Dr. Carmack. Sarge then just shoots Carmack in the head and kills him. That's done. That's it. Which they're like, oh, you shouldn't kill him. Like, why not? <laughs> At this point, I was still on rock side. Like, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a weird zombie thing. Like, exactly. Probably yeah. should just shoot him. So, Duke and the kid go back to the the archaeological dig to make sure that the other scientists that Sarge had found were really dead and not, you know, just pretend dead. Right. Sarge and Reaper make Grimm show them the data that she was supposed to recover. 
So mm. she starts playing the video and it seems like the scientists were trying to recreate the 24 chromosomes, the 24th chromosome that they had found in the, the, the body of the skeleton lady. I think her name was Lucy. Uh, so this just tells you everything you need to know. Yeah. Science is bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Grim did not know that they were doing these kinds of tests, and the the video shows. Come on, genetic... Grim! Come on! Yeah, seriously. How do you know? You know. This? You know. The video shows genetic mutations uh, be on a human subject. They had injected him with the twenty fourth chromosome. Who is like a on death row inmate type? Yeah. So you sent a a death row inmate to Mars through a weird bubble. Like you went through all that trouble? Yeah, just to kill yeah. him. Great. Um, so Reaper wants to destroy the data, but Sarge doesn't let him. This is kind of the, the point where you're like, all right, well, what the hell is Sarge? Like, he yeah. is he not a good guy in this? Yeah, <laughs> he the the turn, the turn for the rock here the, from babyface to heel is not earned doesn't make any sense and he's just a bad guy out of nowhere he's like i'm bad i'm just following orders i'm bad now like really uh, you were so concerned about reaper like going on the mission you're like oh maybe you shouldn't go man i'll yeah. i'll leave you home but now you're like i'm gonna fucking do whatever it takes like what happened grim somehow is still not finished uh, downloading all the data that she's supposed to. Because it's 2005. It takes a long time to get those flash drives <laughs> to go. <laughs> uh, Duke and the kid get back to the dead scientists and they kill one of them, but the other one is missing. So they by, by killing the dead scientists, I mean they shoot him in the head. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. They're tasked to go and shoot everybody. Yes. But the other one's missing. So Reaper gives Grimm a radio so that she can stay in touch with them. And they all decide, or, or because Pinky is is on the radio telling Sarge that something is cutting through the arc door. So all the Marines have to get back to the arc door. The team rushes back to the arc and everyone's gone already. Sarge tells them to get any weapons that they can. And as soon as the system reboots, because I don't know why the system's rebooting, but it is. There's a lot of uh, funny business going on in this section of like, yeah. why do you need to do it? Why reboot? Why all this? Like, yeah. why are we killing everyone now? Yeah. Makes no sense. Because Rock like, said so. Rock's just Because it's quarantine. They can't, we, they can't let whatever's, you know, infecting everybody get to the general yeah. population of Earth. So they got to kill everybody. I guess. Heroes yeah. have to make tough choices. <laughs> fair fair um uh, so so as soon as the system reboots they're gonna all go back through the arc so reaper runs back to grim who doesn't have her radio on so she's she's not responding and she shows him that the monster is choosing who to infect like the whatever is infecting them it's choosing who to turn into a monster because she uses some of Portman's brain matter and the uh, time Gross. reacts to it. Gross. Yes. And then she uses some of Destroyer's brain matter and the tongue does not react to it. Somehow. <laughs> okay. Explain this further. Go ahead. Somehow she says that 10% of the human genome is not mapped. Mm -hmm. And that's what some people think is responsible for the human soul. Yeah. So the, the infection is choosing to infect other people who would become monsters instead of infecting other people who would become the superhuman, like Lucy. Yes. Yeah. So this thing is infecting bad people. Yes. It's, it seeks it's, out bad people. It's seeking out evil evil yeah because yeah. in the game doom i looked this up while it was happening I'm like what the fuck happens in the game doom because this is really <laughs> stupid 
This yeah. part is really dumb. So I looked it up, and it's, Doom is literally like portals from hell open on Earth, and you have to kill the people from hell. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is their, You're like, killing monsters. cool, like, ooh, we oops, we did it ourselves. Like, whoa, look how fucked up we are. Like, cool. Uh, okay. Spin on the story when reality is just fucking portals from hell open, and you got to kill demons. That's it. Uh, <laughs> So, yes. So this chromosome 24, which somehow they they have in just a, a needle. So chromosome 24 in a needle is a disease makes, that infects yeah. only evil people and makes it shoot sex. Makes them into monsters. Yes. Turning them into monsters. And then if they infect good people, those good people become superhuman, super so strong, is, heal is, instantly. Like the super soldier serum. So if you infect an evil person, they turn into Red Skull. But if you infect yeah. the right guy, he turns into Captain America. I don't yeah. understand this <laughs> analogy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so boy. what do we get next? Um, Sarge wants to kill everything when they get back on Earth, when he gets yeah. through the arc. I don't know where he because, wants to kill everybody. Because they're going to be locked in this one containment area because that's what quarantine protocol is. They, he told them to lock everything down for 60 minutes. Um, once people return from the arc, I, yeah. Right. So they go through and they find that everything is dead already. Uh, so they start shooting all the bodies to make sure. Uh, let's start yeah. ser- and then start sh- searching for any infected monsters. But and people Mach are is full evil now, full right. absolute like kill everyone. Because people yeah. are alive in the dead pile of bodies, and they shoot them anyway because the rock is just like shoot everybody. Yeah. Yes. Even like uh, people hiding, go find them, open the door, and kill them all. Because I'm. Um, does he actually say kill them all and let God sort it out or yes. something like that? He yes. literally yeah. says that. Yes. Yep. yep. Um, so Reaper and Grimm show up after them and find all the dead bodies. Reaper tries to convince Sarge not to kill everyone because some of them might not be infected, but Sarge sticks to his orders and rules and says, keep killing everybody. Duke finds a pile of bodies and starts shooting when he finds Pinky. Oh, Pinky. He finds a, yeah, Pinky he finds eventually a becomes a monster, right? He finds a pile eventually. of bodies and starts shooting. Um, but then he finds Pinky, so he stops shooting. Okay. The kid also finds a bunch of people who are hiding in what right. seems to this be like a that, closet. Yeah. 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 And he doesn't seem like he wants to kill everybody. Uh, Grim and Reaper argue with Sarge about what they should be doing. Uh, they say that not everybody has to die. Sarge wants to destroy everything and protect the building, though. Uh, Duke and Pinky come back. The kid comes back. Sarge wants to kill everyone still. And no one wants to go along with him. Mutiny. Yes. So he tells the kid that he should have, like go back and kill all those people and the kid refuses and Sarge just then shoots him. He kills him. Shoots him in the throat and kills him. Because mutiny is punishable by death. He goes from fucking decent looking rock guy to murder monster. Yep. Very quickly. So fast. Um, He only wants blind, loyal soldiers. Reaper and Sarge have a stare down, and then Pinky pulls pulls out his gun, and he tells them to drop their weapons. And then they all stop looking at Pinky, and he's like, oh, there's something right behind me, isn't there? And of course, he gets attacked from behind and killed, from what we can tell. He he gets turned. Yes. So he comes back. Yes, right. we will see. We will see when he's okay. first person shooting everything. Um, Sarge and Reaper start following the monster, trying to kill it, and then they stop because they hear stuff. And then we see a storm of monsters coming at them. 
until they retreat behind another nano wall. Mm-hmm. Um, Duke, the, this nano wall is not working properly, though. Uh, it's still phasing in between wall and doorway. Um, Duke then gets get, gets pulled through a grate in the floor by a monster. Sarge gets distracted by that, and he gets pulled through the nano wall that won't close. Um, I do like that he says something to the effect like, I'm not supposed to die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was funny. Uh, Reaper and Grimm escape and blockade themselves in a, in a room. And that he's severely injured and he shows her how to use uh, an ST grenade. But she wants to inject him with C24 to save him. He doesn't want to do that because he thinks he'll turn into a monster because he's done a lot of bad right. stuff. And she says, I know you. You're my brother. And he goes, you don't know me. And yeah. then hands her a gun and tells her to shoot him if he starts to turn into a monster. What hell is happening here? So she injects him with C24 and he falls over. When he wakes up, we get the camera angle through his eyes. We get the first person shooter. Oh, she. Mm-hmm. He, he's, he's okay. He's all healed up. He goes to the mirror. He sees himself. He wipes away the blood and his. Yeah, he doesn't have gone. a cut. It's just blood he's at that point. Magically yeah. healed because yep. he has super soldier serum in him. Yep. Or an, um, an extra life, I guess, if you're talking doom. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so Grim Grim isn't in the room anymore. Don't know why. So he starts walking through the facility and we get some some cool monster kills. Which uh, you loved, Bill. Uh I didn't hate it at first. Oh, okay. Here's what I'll say about this, because I get it's an homage to the game. Yeah, I think that's cool. And I like how they get into it. Where he like he wakes up and he like looks in the mirror so you know exactly what's going on. Right. Yeah. Right. And then I like the way they go out of it when he's like in the elevator and just kind of shifts the camera angle and it's back like to mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It should go on for about fifteen to twenty seconds. It goes on for five minutes and he fights things that have uh, chainsaws for some reason. I think that's from yeah. the game, but yes. yeah. It doesn't make a ton of sense what's happening for those five minutes. It's just like the game. It, this is fan service. Yeah, yes, game fan is. service thing. 20 seconds of fan service, great. Five minutes is too much. <laughs> I, I still enjoyed it um, for the most part. He does he, he does kill a bunch of monsters with um, chainsaws and like uh, – like hammers and stuff like that and he it, it, it's it's cool i do like that they used it a lot uh, if it is a full five minutes okay maybe it's a little too long i mean i certainly didn't time it it just oh, felt okay. like a long time i feel like it goes on a long yeah um because the fight with the fight with pinky who is not yeah, a monster zombie, pinky yeah well, that's a long time that, like that very long. last a while and he um for some reason, he loses his gun and then gets a chainsaw to fight Pinky and then right. finally picks up his gun again and shoots Pinky and kills him. Uh, then the first person angle ends and he sees that the quarantine countdown is about to end in two minutes. Um, we do see a hole from the BFG. So for some reason. Big for the giant. Yep. He finds Grimm on the ground, and Sarge starts talking to him, but we can clearly see that he's been bitten slash licked slash he's going to turn into a monster. Oh, he's got a sex tongue in inside of his now. Yeah, yeah. For uh, sure. So Reaper tells Grimm to start crawling to the elevator, so... She does, and Sarge tells Reaper that he killed all the survivors. The quarantine right. end. Uh, he the killed all the people end. that the kid was trying to save. He went and killed them. Yeah, yeah. that's how yeah. fucked up this dude is. Um, the quarantine's about to end, so he thinks Sarge and Sarge thinks that they're it's all it's all done. They can they can leave now. And then when the quarantine ends, Reaper doesn't move, so Sarge. That realizes that they're going to have to fight and kill each other. Um, 
Sarge shoots the BFG, but Reaper dodges it. Um, okay. But loses Sarge, but loses Sarge. Reaper starts looking for him. We see Sarge sneaking around, and he picks up a big like shield slash just metal object, metal pipe, to try to to use as a weapon. He's gonna get the drop on Reaper, and when he turns the corner, he swings. And he misses because Reaper's not there where he thought he was going to be. Oh. Reaper comes from around the other corner and shoots a hole through the big pipe as Sarge disappears again. Then Sarge punches him through a glass panel, and they decide to put down their weapons and fight hand to hand. Which, which doesn't know, seem like a why smart Grim idea. would do this, why Reaper would do this, I don't know. <sighs> nope, no idea. So Reaper. At one point, almost chokes him out with a like kind of turnbuckle type move, but Sarge busts out and he grabs the 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 wire and he wraps it around his hand, turning it into like a metal fist kind of thing. Um, the wire gets pulled apart, so it's kind of now like a spike metal fist, and it gets put through Weep Reaper's hand. And Sarge has the upper hand. He's, he's about to kill Reaper with, with this thing. And he starts to show his mutation now. Right. Reaper then activates the arc and somehow wraps the, the, the wire into it around his hand and swings it around. And he gets the upper hand on Sarge and he throws him into the water blob that's going to send him to mars uh -huh. and then he cuts his own hand to to so that they're not connected anymore yep um and then he picks up a grenade and he tosses it into the next water blob that travels to mars and the grenade blows up on the other side killing sarge most likely maybe who knows maybe but not for sure Nope. And then we get a very strange Reaper holding Grim on the elevator. And to me, it seemed a little incestuous. She was like oh. nuzzled up into him. And I was like, this is a weird way to end it like that. Like I could see him like holding her up like side by side, but wow. not like wedding carrying you over the, the threshold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Wow. Um, I do like how they explain that his nickname is because <laughs> his last name is Grim, and so his nickname is Grim Reaper. <laughs> mm, right. He's like, that's fucking lame, and he's like, they're Marines; they're not the smartest bunch. <laughs> Which fair, I know. So, I know some Marines. It's fair. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that is Doom two thousand five. Four and a half to five minutes is that scene. By the way, the Doom really? scene goes on for over four and a half minutes. How, really? how did you tell? I looked it up on the online and I found a four and a half movie thing, four and a half minute uh, video okay. that starts looking in the mirror and ends when he's fighting the wheelchair guy. Man. Thank you. Ouch. This is a nice one hour, 45 minute movie. It was crisp. It was. Nice. Um, nice. Well, Time wise, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay. I mean, it was, it was, it was okay. It was a action it's... horror movie. Like, okay. That's... So when you said it, I was like, holy fuck. I can't believe I've sit through another one of these. And then it wasn't completely the worst, but it was bad. Yeah. It, it wasn't it was... good. I said it was it watchable. Bad. That was the high, that was the highest I could give it. Watchable. I mean, don't watch it. I mean, if you have a choice, don't ever watch this movie. <laughs> if you're yes. like super bored and you got nothing else to do. I mean, if yeah. you're into if somehow this is the only DVD you own, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> uh, like this is like every other thing on Netflix. Like this is how <laughs> like I live my life. My kids are always telling me they're bored. Like, how are you bored? It's 2020 fucking one. You can literally do anything. When I was a kid, I had uh like 75 channels and a super nintendo and my front yard which is way better than what my parents had 
which was like four channels in their in front, their front yard. yard. <laughs> like, <laughs> so calm the fuck down. <laughs> you got if you if you do a one of those what's the, do the randomizer on Netflix and it happens to pull up Doom. Yeah, watch it. Why not? If you're I have that not used that function that you're yet. doing. You know, I'm exactly. afraid. I'm afraid. I love that. That's there. Like yeah. I always wanted that in in the old Netflix. Like, yeah, like randomize what I like. Like play an episode of this and then an episode of that. Like it would be real TV. I always wanted that feature, but I'm very afraid about what they're gonna tell me to watch. Yeah, yeah. There's you're a gonna, lot. Of that stuff you're gonna actually. watch this. Like no. I have a very specific list of things that I watch on Netflix and that's it. <laughs> I am not going to watch like some of this yeah, other weird stuff. I don't think it takes into account your like preferences. No, it's just like whatever they want to push to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was Doom. Yes, it was. The, Who's the, up next? The Rock's uh, turn. Really weird. The Rock is, is like not unlike how, some of his turns. How many movies? Yeah, right. But how many movies is The Rock a bad guy in? Other than Scorpion King, where he's like a legendary, like evil presence. Is he a bad uh, guy? He's in, kind in, of the bad guy in the Fast and Furious movies. He's like a fake bad guy in the one, and then he's good in the rest. Yeah, it's part of the team. I thought he went the opposite way. I thought he was like a fake. No, I thought he was no. a good guy to start, and then he became. He's a like bad cha- guy. he's well, a he's, cop. He's a cop yeah. who's chasing them in Fast Five, and then he's like, "Oh, actually, they're not the bad guys, so I'll help them. These yeah. are the real bad guys." And then, like every other Fast and Furious, he's part of the team. I'm pretty sure, or at least helps them. Anyway, he has, damn, he's already got Young Rock this year. He's of course, got two movies in pre-production, or excuse me, two movies in post-production, two movies in pre-production, and then three more announced. He's supposed to be Black Adam, who's a bad guy in DC, but that's I think that pre, that's in pre right now. I think that, that movie's gonna. Was, I think that movie's gonna end up being like a, like a. I don't know what you call it, like a bad guy who ends up being good in the end, like a low key. Oh, kind of thing. anti-hero. Yeah, anti-hero. I think it's gonna be an anti-hero thing, but he's yeah. often never the bad guy. Very often, not the bad guy. But. I don't see much surprising that he was a bad guy in this i also don't know a lot of the stuff that he's in right this is one of his earlier things too 2005 i think i just i just counted it. it's his seventh movie seventh or ninth movie one of the two right is Is clue jumper a good guy or a bad guy in transformers good good guy Mm -hmm. Uh, um the other guys he was kind of a dick He's a dick, but not bad. Like he's good. He's chasing the bad guys. No, he wasn't. Didn't they? um, He dies chasing the bad guys. He dies, but he's dirty for like a bag of weed or whatever it was. Like he's not dirty. He just he's not a dirty cop. He's just over. He's just (laughs) he's overzealous as a cop. No, he dies chasing the the bank heist, the the jewelry robbers or whatever. Yeah, that's when he dies. Yeah. But he does all that damage. There's over like no, there's the pounds. one scene where they they get like one bag of weed and they have like a <laughs> celebration, right? Yeah, that movie's well, underrated as a funny movie. Uh, at the very end, where they you get the the Jeter cameo, doesn't he say something about how uh, he makes fun of Mark dancing. Wahlberg for uh, busting Jeter? Ooh, yeah. In but like at the very end. He 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 says something like um, dancing it like the Rock and the other one I don't remember who it was Sam Jackson Sam Jackson oh right it was Samuel yeah we're dirty or something like that yeah they, they said were the party. supposed to have another other guys or whatever I Where may have they? found one in okay. two thousand one there was a movie called Long Shot and he played the character Mugger so that was probably a bad guy <laughs> okay Muggers usually aren't good Muggers are usually not good. Good. Let's see. He's a bad shot. guy in Star Trek, right? Yeah, right. That was in 2000. So early on, he was a bad guy. 2001. And then he quickly turned. But almost every movie since he started acting, he's been good in every yeah. movie. I mean, he's kind of weirdly bad in Moana, but he ends up being good, right? Yep. 
he ends up being Maui's kind of a dick. Yeah. But he's a good good guy in the end. He's a dickhead. Like Moana is actually like Rock's best role. It's no doubt. No doubt. It's his best role. It's the most complex character. I was going to say Scorpion King when he's just the head on a CGI (laughs) scorpion. A CGI head. Oh, my God. Is it me next? I believe it's you because I think last week I did the my version of, or my so thing. weird because yes, the uh, you're the Chica underground. Yeah. So yeah. weird because the um, no mic thing, but yeah, I know it's so fast. I have an incredible. Maybe you're you're probably not going to think this, but I have an incredible pick this week. Incredible. It's not incredible. It's incredible. It's, it's incredible. Bad. It's bad for one reason. So okay. So it's bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's great. It's you great. You just said it was bad. <laughs> it's for a reason, not for its content. Okay. So I was listening to the only wrestling podcast I listened to. I mean, I listened to WCWTF when they come out, but uh, Major Le- Wrestling Figure Podcast is the only wrestling figure or the only wrestling podcast I listen to now. And they talked about a documentary you should watch. And I am fully on board. You're going to go to Tubi, and you're going to look up this. Why do you love this so much? I love Tubi, baby. In keeping with the Lucha Underground theme, we're going to watch Nail in the Coffin, a documentary, The Fall and Rise of Vampiro. There's a Vampiro. I did notice that. I I noticed that last week when when (laughs) Phil was watching Lucha Underground. I noticed it, and I was like, oh, no. Oh. There's a Vampiro documentary on Tubi, and unfortunately for you guys, fortunate for me, but unfortunately for you, it's one hour and 20-something minutes long. It's a very long documentary about ah! Vampiro. I am just, so oh. fucking pumped. Do I just wreck my day tomorrow by watching it now so that it's over? <laughs> <laughs> Start watching it at 11 o'clock at night because fuck. I, I you was gotta get this that. <laughs> Vampiro documentary on Tubi. Oh, God. You knew. Uh, come on. Was I not going to pick this? Come on. I didn't know that it was an option to pick. I was so excited when I heard that this was the thing. Actually, I heard it's pretty good. So... You might I actually probably won't. I don't not think hate it. it. I don't. You're think You're probably not going to hate it. But there's there's real potential that I am. I mean, you're going to hate the length, probably. I'm guessing. I mean, hour, if you most, picked a movie, it was still going to be longer than that, probably. A documentary being an hour is probably the right length, unless it's like a very very good subject. And I don't right. think this is probably that. But no. No, I am Vampiro pumped. is not a very oh, good subject. I am pumped for Vampiro having a documentary, so there's no way I was not going to fucking do this. Come on. This is going to be very Vampiro friendly, I assume. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, I'm very, very afraid of the positive. I think it, it was put out by the Lucha Underground people. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's wearing Lucha Underground gear in it. It's 100% pro vampiro like you don't have a documentary subject sign up to be shit on the whole time like that's not happening that's not happening so yeah yeah, there's not going to be any like turn the fucking music on but but he's vampiro so you know he said some weird ass shit in this there's no you give vampiro a live mic he's gonna say some weird stuff like he's proven he's talking about his vampire cults his ego, like he's gonna come up with something. Oh yeah, he's gonna say a lot. He's gonna of say weird something. Things. He's gonna say weird shit, right? I feel like he's gonna, and also like he wasn't that bad of a wrestler in he the was 90s. Huge in Mexico, right? We're right. He was very, very popular. Hopefully, we have a lot of Conan beef kind of shit in there. Oh, there's gonna be Conan. Beef. Like I want to eat up that beef. Come on, there's got to be beef in there. So sorry, oh, we're doing the vampire documentary. Come on. It's like right in my wheelhouse. I had to do it. But it's Tubi. It. What's wrong with Tubi? It's my favorite app. It's down our throats here. It's Bill, Tubi. you know what? Yeah. You don't even have to sign up with an email. You can just sign in and put I nail in the coffin. That. Just click it and put nail in a coffin. Did you secretly get paid for Tubi ads? 
Is that I, what's is that I, what's going let on? Let me just tell you right now. Holding I, out on us. I wish Tubi would pay me. <laughs> Tubi owes me for their free <laughs> app. <laughs> Tubi owes me for their free app. God damn it. I've been uh, plugging this shit. I got everybody watching it. I got Rachel no. watching it. I got every I got my parents watching it. It's all kinds what do of your weird parents watch on it. Because my all the like weird ass old shows my dad used to watch as a kid are on there. Right. I'm like, you remember those like weird? You probably don't. There was like these weird puppet shows from like the 60s or 50s. These puppets, like, it was like a cartoon, but they had puppets instead. My dad used to watch them. And I'm like, you know, all those puppet shows are on there. He's like, what? Are, they are? Like, and guess what? What? You don't need an email to sign in. You don't? Nobody's going to yeah. take my email? It's like a big selling point for some yeah, yeah. 60s. You don't need Absolutely to sign. This. You don't need an email to sign it. Like, what are people going to steal from you? Dad? So I went to to be dot TV, the, the featured what's yeah. browse and then featured. They've got the original Karate Kid. Yes, got, I, they have good stuff on there. Well, well, hold, hold on. Let's they've let's got, hear on their on their feature. They've got the original okay. Karate Kid, 13 Ghosts. I know what it is. So that's a Bill movie if I've ever heard one. I've oh. never heard of it. You've not seen 13 Ghosts? I don't know uh, what it is. That's a it's fucking actually, Bill movie. That's a pretty good movie. That's a uh, Bill. Hor- Bill, you love horror? That's a horror movie. Okay. Little I'm... Nicky. Little Nicky is on the featured page. <laughs> We've seen that. Harold yeah. and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay. Bad, but never got or- to that. The original Lone Harold Wolf- and Kumar are good. Yes. Lone Wolf McQuaid. It's a Chuck okay. Norris movie. That's all I got. Listen, uh, they, did you know <laughs> Cradle Chuck... to the Grave? Hold on, I got two more. Cradle okay, to the, okay, okay. More. Cradle to the Grave. John yes. Cena's The Marine. Yes. And Queen of the Damned. Mm-hmm. It's funny because when I just went to it, feature. I got a whole different feature than you did. Really? I'd like, yeah. like to point out these are great. What's wrong? So I got Haven, a crime drama from 2015. That's the one Edge is in. Okay. Terrible. Show Edge is in. I got Alias. Good, Great show. Okay. Alias is fucking great. Yeah, that was, that appears was to be show. a movie, though. Alias the show. Garner? The show was awesome. Maybe it's a show from 20, 2001. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. Show, uh, something called Devious Maids. A yes. comedy drama. Okay. Uh, something called Pitch, which appears to be about a lady... Pitching in the big leagues, perhaps? Okay, not uh, bad. I think so. Not bad. The Passage from 2019. Sounds like a horror movie you would watch. Mm. Oh, it's the one with Mark Paul Gosling trying to get that girl who's like a superhero. Saved something. by the Bell guy? Are you fucking kidding me? You the have Hurt a problem Locker. with it? Ryan good. is loving everything that we... we okay, we, Hurt Locker is a legit good it's movie. It's a decent movie. It's pretty good. That was okay. Yeah, it was Patriots legit. Day. A legit good movie. Is it? It's got Marky Patriots Mark in it. Day? Yeah, it's Marky Mark, and I think it's the Boston bombings. Oh, okay. oh I thought you were talking about like the 1776 movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then whatever Detroit is. Sounds fine to me. Just just Detroit. Detroit. They have like hidden gems in there. You have to search. The passage I remember thinking looked interesting, but not interesting enough to actually watch. There's good stuff in there. You, you, you just got to uncover it. Come on. Why was mine so much different than yours, Wally? Yeah, know. that is weird that you're it does kind of like remember what you what you're into, even though it says it doesn't. But it like but I've never like this up on this computer. Like Lucha Underground. Oh, that's weird. Lucha Underground, I watched it, but I never signed in. But then it showed me a bunch of like CZW stuff, which is we're gonna get there. Oh, Tyler Perry's point. on. All right. Never mind. There you go. Forget everything I said. Oh, look at that. A Steve Austin movie. Employee so of the many. Month. Rachel's like, why are there so many Steve Austin movies? It's like, well, because it's Tubi and it's a bunch of movies nobody cares about except for weirdos. And she's like, I feel like they'd be straight to DVD. I'm like, yeah, you nailed it. Nailed yeah. it. That's what the whole app is. Straight to yeah. DVD. You, you could it? do a whole uh, kickboxer, uh, which 
run to like because they're Least, leaving soon so you might want right. to I want to jump on that on because that. Cody yeah. from Step by Step was on there. So he was kickboxer. He took over for he was kickboxer three. Yeah. Hey, Bruce yeah, Willis, the guy on here over. somehow. Of course. Whatever the whole nine yards is. That's a great movie. What are you talking about? That's a TBS movie for sure. You're the king of TBS. Wh- which one is that? Is that the one with him and uh That's the one where Tracy he, Morgan? Him and um Oh the no. Oh, I do like the grudge. Whoa, that movie! Anger management good. with Adam Sandler is not good. Good one, good. No, it's good. not. What are you not good? That's Big fine. Mama's house. <laughs> if they put Blue Streak on there, I'm oh, get like... smart. Show favorite. Wow. Get smart is on here. Trash movie. See, there's, but there's so much stuff you have to dig. Crank really? two is on here. Crank one is great. Crank two. St- Speaking of video game movies, like that's one of the one of the ones that did it right. Crank oh, sixteen one. blocks is a decent movie. Yes, come on. It's with Bruce and I like how you're shitting on me for liking the app Tubi, which is free. Fucking, you don't have yeah. to pay for it. You don't even you have, have to, to watch sign in. You gotta watch commercials. You gotta watch like two commercials. Give me a break. It's not that many commercials. Men at work. Ghost is like on here. Got- Men at work. Is that Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez? Of course. The yes. last Boy Scout. Man, they got Bruce Willis Good. over here. Good. You could watch all three I Spit on Your Graves. Uh, there's a movie called Rage featuring Nicolas Cage. Why have I never seen that? Rage Cage? <laughs> if there's a wrestler in it, you might see it. All right, that's it. I got to download this shit. So, peace out. That's nice. all. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. Go uh, subscribe. Go get Tubi. Don't sign up. Just get it. You don't have to sign up. Peace out. We got-